I'm here with Dr. Demetrius Papadimitriou. He's a distinguished senior fellow and president emeritus of the Migration Policy Institute. Thank you so much for your time. It is my pleasure. Can you talk about how the Pope might address the problem of human trafficking? Uh, yes, indeed. This is certainly one of the issues that he's likely to address because it underpins pretty much everything that we don't like about the unregulated movement of people. We're talking fundamentally about profiteers who draw out immense profits from the movement of people without giving too much of a care about whatever it is that happens to these people. This is a system that they pretty much are in control of where all of the benefits, and we're talking about money here, accrue to the profiteers, to the human traffickers, while all of the costs, human tragedy, trafficking, death, beatings, etc., accrue to the individual who is being trafficked, the individual who is being moved. Of course, the ultimate price is the price of death. Typically, all along the corridor of movement, but most importantly during the last step in Europe in particular, where they try to cross the Mediterranean, so many of them have been losing their lives. Uh, it is something that we all need to work very actively to try to reduce, and the Pope has spoken directly and clearly about this issue. So I would imagine this will be one of the op points that the, the Pope will likely raise, at least in his speeches in Philadelphia and probably in the U.S. Congress. The U.S. Catholic population is enormous. Are there activists working now on the immigration issue to try to engage Catholics in order to enhance the effect of the Pope's visit? Very much so. Uh, the NGO sector, the advocacy community, works extremely closely, both at the local level and at the national level, you know, with, with, uh, with the Catholic Church. And the Catholic Church in America has now been on the forefront on this issue for at least about 10 years or so. It engages every senior clergyman in the United States Catholic Conference, bishops, cardinals, uh, I expect them to be very active in making recommendations to the pontiff, but as we all understand, this is you know a pope uh, who will actually do what he wants to do, and he will do so. Um, so there are lots of recommendations that have already been sent to him. He understands the issue. He has spoken on many of the issues that are important to the United States debate, whether it's unaccompanied minors, whether it is illegal immigration. He has said that he would like, I'm sure he won't do it, but he would like to cross the U.S.-Mexico border in solidarity with illegal immigrants. So this is a pope that will likely address these issues. And the Catholics in the United States will find his engagement very much uplifting. Several of the presidential candidates, even the Catholic candidates, have reacted negatively to some of the Pope's anti-capitalist messages and his message on global warming. Do you think his visit will have any impact on any of the platforms for either party? I wouldn't be surprised if each platform chooses a passage, even if it is out of context, from what it is that the Pope says and insert him in their platforms for the general election. But at the point where we are now, which is the early stages of trying to see who the nominee for each party will be, I'd imagine that no one will be relying too much on what the Pope has to say in order to make his or her counterparts cringe a little bit. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure.